So, uh, it's been years since like, I think 2019. Uh, so I'm gonna take the covers off and actually try and get this thing in the water. See what the draft is like, because it has one inch more freeboard than the original design. And uh, also see how, how long the oars actually need to be, because they're like 12 foot long pieces of wood right now that for a bear cat to get up 12 stories in a concrete stairwell, if you can imagine, looking through the other floor each and every time. Yeah, so uh, anyways, next thing to do, take this piece of conduit here and cut it down to size so that I have two thole pins, they're probably going to be about that long, that I can actuate the oars on. And so uh, we're going to cut for now and do that. Well, I'm undoing the line and uh, I'm going to have a bit of a reveal here. Jacking. Apo Calypso. Apo Calypso. Yeah, we're good. You guys are wonderful. Yeah. No, we're not done yet. That's okay. That's, that's the same. We're not going to fall. Okay, everybody wave for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being Oh, I got a passenger too. Yes, I saw that. Yeah. Oh, awesome, good luck. Come on. 
Thanks. I hope so too. <laughs> And this keeps the modular thing in place. Friendly rubber. So this is from a 60s men's magazine from Ireland or England, but not the, the decking and, and rubber mat. That's my own thing. Bailing device. A must have. Have it over here, Mike. Oh, dear dog. Yes, right, well, we're ready. So, as you can see, I've made a little harness using a couple of discarded, sorry, discarded um, toe straps. So I can just kind of shoulder it a bit. Easy. I've got a life jacket that was like 20 bucks as a pad so it doesn't scuff this up. This is nice friendly uh, uh, material but it doesn't reach the boat. And then the other end it's pivoted on this nice material here. And then I've dumped a bunch of the decking material right at the back to counterweight this so I have a counterbalance thing and I'm not struggling because that's the worst. So uh, I'll just walk it in um, in the stern first, and then the oar station will be at the forward most position, so I'm dragging the boat slightly ahead of the center uh, mass. 
The center of mass is actually marked somewhere on this boat. But I don't want to fish for it now. Okay, so let's go. My name is Ash, and I am a slave. But life wasn't always like this. JK. Shop smart. Shop S smart.
seems to float, that seems to track well. And 12 feet of ore with this extra inch of freeboard is the right size. And uh, yeah, it seems to be a good solid little design. We haven't heard anything go snap, crackle, or pop. So I think we're in good shape. And I don't see any water billowing in, so and no seepage. So the urethane is a really good cure. And so uh, we're just gonna... Oh, there's a seal over there. What I need is something to brace my feet against while I row, because I don't really have that. So what I'm gonna do is stretch out a little bit. Apparently, drinks tins are a common thing to hold a full pin in. Also, prevents you from gouging your eyes out. Because it's just conduit. Whoops. But I think I need to uh, decrease the inner part of the ores, as you can see, there's too much overlap and it's kind of causing me a bit of grief. As I get used to this. Well, I'm just gonna weigh ores. Let the boat do its thing. Enjoy this beautiful day. Ha, 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 ha. 